if we don't invest in our cows, our cows can't do the best by us. As a farmer, it's our job. Like we have to care for the land, we have to care for the cows, and we have to care for our team. Being proactive with herd health is paramount. If you're not doing right by your cows, they're not gonna do what their potential is. My name's Kirsty Hornblow. Alongside with my husband, Robin, we contract milk 1,200 cows. 10 minutes north of Ashburton. We have a team of four, plus ourselves and our daughter Emerson. Our successful work-life balance probably looks a little bit different to someone that works in town, as this is our passion, this is our job, this is our home. If we can take an afternoon off, that's a win for us. That's so we don't necessarily have to be going far away, but we have a good team who understand our systems and procedures so that we're able to just go away for the afternoon and spend some time as a family. If we don't have processes and systems, we don't have consistency. And if we don't have consistency, we don't get results. It's just putting the basics on paper so we carry them out every time. It's easy to integrate new people into our system and it's easy to follow. It's giving these guys some ownership that they can go, okay, yeah, no, that's what we do. We have a very simple but comprehensive first day process that we follow. So when we bring the, the new mums that have just calved into the dairy shed, we are pre-spraying their teats, we are trimming their tails, we are wiping the teats with alcohol wipes, we are stripping the cows to check for any abnormalities, and then we are testing the colostrum with the Brix Refactometer to make sure that we're only feeding the best colostrum to our replacement calves. Following those good procedures has really helped set us up for a good season. In our first season at Brackley, we encountered a lot of challenges. Some E. coli mastitis, black mastitis. To be fair, it just wasn't good enough. So we started with our systems and procedures with FIL and we made them stricter. Our average cell count is 125. The year before it was 145,000. We've managed to reduce or eliminate the antibiotic resistance. We don't use any red drugs. As contract milkers, if we don't have milk going into the vat, we don't make money. So red milk going down the drain is money out of our pocket as well as the farm owner's pocket. From a peak milk number of 1,150 cows, our total mastitis was only 8%. So a lot of that starts right back at the start of calving when you're preventing those cows from getting mastitis. Our biggest benefit of the IntelliBrend is consistency. Time is money. So the time that we've got one guy mixing up teat spray for half an hour a day, it is roughly around $4,000 in labour that could be spent elsewhere. It could be checking cows in the paddock, checking pasture. Actually, it could just mean that the guys are gone home. If I could give any advice, it'd be systems and procedures. Just by doing the basics and doing them right, you can set yourself up for a great season.